Hey guys, welcome back. Um, usually my videos are more about gardening and homesteading and stuff like that, but that's not the only thing that I'm interested in or into. Another thing that I'm really excited about and I'm really interested in is um, knives. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to show you a few that I picked up uh, in the last several days at my local pawn shop. Don't underestimate going to the pawn shops where you live and finding some really good steals, deals, uh, or steals in my case, because I found some really nice ones today. This one I'm kind of excited about, I don't know how well you can see, the detail in this handle, and it is a full tank, I don't know if you can tell, but at the end, you can see the end of the blade comes all the way out of its head, so that's a really cool one. And I'm excited about that one. I also found this one today. The um, the engraving or the, the detail in uh, the handle is really nice. And of course, I cleaned them up real good before I showed them to you. Got them shining. <laughs> Got them oiled up. So that one's really nice. It did not look like that when I bought it. It had a lot of spots on it. It was really dirty. And I got after it with some oil. Um, this is one that I found. I haven't had it for a whole long time. Um, I didn't find it at the pawn shop. But this is another one that I use. I got to get some work. I got to do some work on the, on the blade. Because after you open it. And I've used it. I use this quite a bit. But it sticks when you try to... Oh, there it goes. I worked on it a little bit today, so it might open up better. But, so I got that one that I use a lot. This I found today. It is um, a buck 379. It's really small. Um... But I just liked it. It'd be it, it'd be a good pocket knife. It doesn't have a locking blade, so that's something you know you wouldn't want to give this to a kid. But for somebody that knows what they're doing with a knife, that are you know careful and skilled with a knife, uh, it makes a nice little pocket knife. This one is probably the one that I'm most excited about. Now it was dirty, you know. Don't let a don't let a little dirt deter you. It'll shine. It'll buff right out. Especially these nice uh, steel blades. Now the detail on the blade itself came from a local place here in Arkansas, um, and it says. Mount Ida, Arkansas, USA, and the and it says the McCoy Stag. So I thought that was pretty. That was really cool. I liked the bone handle. I like everything about this blade. I sharpened it up a little bit, and it does have a locking blade, which is nice because not as likely to hurt yourself. This would probably be a, a good one for a younger kid. Because, well, not with it being that sharp, but, um, but they wouldn't be as likely to get hurt, you know, with it being a locking blade. Uh, pressure on the handle, it shuts very easy. So that's a nice one. I was excited about that. So I just wanted to show you guys a few, uh, few knives that I found today. Some exciting things that, uh, that were going on. And otherwise, I just wanted to 
do a short video and it's like, oh. uh, there's not really a whole lot of gardening stuff to talk about except for, um, I do have some stuff growing outside in the low tunnel. I got stuff growing in the living room. If you watch my videos, you know, um, I am addicted to green things. When it starts growing, I get excited. When seeds pop up out of the ground, I get excited. Like I'm a little kid. Things come up out of the store, the up out of the ground, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know, I'm just ridiculous with it. But that's that stuff that makes me happy. And uh, everybody needs a little happy, especially these days. Um, have a great Christmas, you guys enjoy your loved ones don't get sucked up in all the commercialism spend some time with your family hug your babies tell your wife you love her your kids hold on to the people that you love as tightly as you can because you never know how much that person means to you until they're gone um all right I'm going to let you guys go because I don't really know what else to talk about, honestly. Um, and I love you guys, everybody. Uh, one more thing. You have never locked eyes with another human being that God does not love. And if he loves you, then so do I. Merry Christmas, you guys. And God bless you all.